All right, here they come, guys. Oh, they're off eating some other stuff. Come on, come on, come on. Greetings, friends. Here on my homestead, we do things a little bit differently than they do in factory farming. Chickens, for example, they raise them in these big chicken houses where they're all crammed in and they can't even see the light of day and move around and do the things that chickens do. But here, we strive to let them do what they're supposed to do, to express their chickenness. We like to move them around outside into different areas where they can eat grass and bugs and, and scratch around and, and move around and get exercise in and pump it up and do whatever chickens do to, to get their exercise in. But at the same time, they're also adding fertilizer through their manure to the soil. And our laying chickens, we raise them here in this chick shawl, which is easy to move around from location to location. And you can see here where they did a great job of just eating the things up. Except for this lamb's quarters here, they don't seem to like that. But everything else they have eaten and they have also left their calling card. And generally, before I move them, we close them up at night and then the next morning, with them all inside the chick shawl, we just easily move them away. Well, it's time to move them again. The only problem is, somebody forgot to close them up last night. Did you forget to close them up last night? Was that you? <laughs> what about mommy? Did mama forget to close it up Not last my night? responsibility. <laughs> you? No, Your fault? No, it's probably yours. It was mine? Mine? Yeah. It was my fault. <laughs> so what are we going to do? We don't have to move them very far. Just right over here. So I think we can just inchworm them forward. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time. Just enjoy the ride. I know man passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in it, so where I can find myself. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. All right, let's keep y'all again. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day. Cause I found my way, I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I found my way. Alrighty, before we had the chickens here, I had goats here and they came through and they said, Whew! ate all the things that were higher up, leaving the grass and what's left behind more appropriate and more suitable for our chickens to do their thing in, which they're doing right now and I'm really happy to see by the way. And then right back there where the chickens were, I'm going to go back through and I'm gonna add some organic matter and that combined with the manure from the goats and the manure from the chickens will really just make an environment more suitable for organisms to thrive in the soil. So just once again, working together in a complimentary way. But now the adventure for today really begins. Because as a homesteader, we oftentimes have to wear multiple hats. As gardener, as a landscaper, as a construction worker, carpenter, you name it. There's a lot of different hats that we have to wear around here on the homestead. So it's time to change my hat. And this hat right here is for herding. Not cattle, but goats. I guess I'm a goat herder too. I have to move our goats from way up there where they are to down here in this fence that we have set up for them. But there's a few challenges. 
to get them from way up there to down here, we have to make sure that they don't eat our fruit trees, our strawberries, our blackberries, nor just let them run off somewhere. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Nor just run off into the pond right there. Can we do it? All right, Josiah, I'm gonna have you stationed here. Make sure that the goats don't jump on top of the chickens here, nor run off to our apple tree right behind us. Sir, so you're yes. man in this post. So get them on down. Sir, yes, sir. All right, Micah, be the man in the gap right here. We got our fence as a funnel here. Just don't let them come and eat our other apple trees and pear trees and persimmon trees, all right? You got it? So Sayla, you got the feed ready? Yep. So she's gonna use the feed as a bait. So we're gonna have to take the goats from down up here, along through here, hoping they don't escape and run over Micah. Don't let them run you over. You got them? You got them. So, cause we don't want them to eat any of those fruit trees. And then they gotta come through here. Got some more fencing as a funnel. Down through here. Hopefully they don't shoot off and run over to the chickens and step on them and climb on the chicken tractor and poop on Josiah. <laughs> And then they're gonna have to circle around, going around the perimeter fence, back beside the other chickens that we just moved, on over to way over there. It looks like it should work out well. It looks like it. Everybody ready? Yes! Ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Oh, they're off eating some other stuff. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. There we go, that's one, two, three. Oh, we're missing one. Oh, there she comes. Come on, come on, leader, leader. Where's your, where's your shepherd run? I got it. She's going the wrong way. She's going way in the wrong spot. Come on. Yeah. So we made it. It mostly, mostly went well. <laughs> Everybody's grazing and eating on the good stuff. After moving the goats, I came back to the area that we had the chickens in earlier and weeded down the lamb's quarters that they left behind. Next, I gathered up some of my Redmond Ag salt and soil conditioner. And spread it out across that same area. And while the goats were happily grazing in the area that we just moved them to, I headed over to the main area that we keep them in and forked up some of their bedding. And it's some really good stuff. It's a combination of manure, urine, and hay. And I definitely got a good workout in transporting multiple loads of the bedding across the property to that area.
All right. You ready for your favorite task? <laughs> but you're gonna do it, right? I appreciate it. <laughs> this is Salem's favorite part. We had some blood. Chicken blood, that is. All right, here we go. Hold on both hands. Isn't that what you did before? No. And after adding the blood, next I added some wood ash. However, I accidentally split my pants. Whoops. And on the homestead, I also have what we call compost chickens. And these chickens help us to make compost, thus the name compost chickens. And from these chickens, Josiah and Micah loaded up the compost into buckets for me to transport down to this area as well. This year, my goal with this space, as well as other parts of our garden, is to let things just grow up and grow. And then bring in the animals to eat it, and as they're eating it, to leave fertilizer behind. And then, after that, I come in and add to it bringing in things that will help build up the soil to make it more nutritious for our plants to grow, as well as to make the soil richer for microorganisms to live in. And after all this, at the end of the day, it was time to bring the goats back in for the evening. Herders, and we were hoping positions. that it would go at least as well as it did earlier, if not better. All righty, let's do this. Good job. Way to go, Kane.